All right, in this discussion, let's uh, decide what we would do if we had an internal threaded hole that had some thread damage. It's really easy to replace a bolt if we're unable to uh, clean up the threads. Uh, it's a little bit harder when we've got uh, this engine block that, uh, let's say, this hole right here for the oil pan uh, had some stripped threads in it. Well, what do we do? Um, so let's take a look at, uh, at what our options are. Now, if the, th the threads weren't damaged very badly, we could attempt to use uh, either a thread chaser or a tap and try to clean, them up, uh, clean up the threads. But uh, what if they're damaged too badly uh, to accomplish that? We basically need to make new threads in there. Uh, what I've seen some people do that uh, uh, I personally don't recommend is drill this out to a larger size and then get a, a bigger tap so remember, a tap can actually cut new threads. We could thread this to a larger size and then just use a larger bolt. Now, that may be okay for something that's uh, not very critical, not very important, or if it's on your own vehicle. But uh, if we're doing this professionally on a customer's vehicle, that's not an acceptable practice. We need to make the internal dimensions of this threaded hole exactly like they were from the factory. We need to restore the original internal uh, dimensions. The way that we're going to do that is with uh, what's called a thread repair insert. Now there are a lot of different brands and styles of insert. This particular one uh, is what's called a time insert. It's a solid insert that has threads on the outside and then it has our original dimension of threads on the inside. Uh, this is a very good, very strong uh, permanent repair method uh, when it comes to replacing or repairing, I should say, damaged uh, threads. So, we need to figure out the size that we're dealing with first. This is the bolt that would fit down in here. So, uh, I'm going to measure that. It's an 8 millimeter uh, bolt. I'm going to use my thread pitch gauge. and it just so happens that it's a 1.25 millimeter thread pitch. So I'm going to use these tools that are uh, specially made for installing this, uh, this time insert uh, thread repair insert. This is a multi-step process. Uh, the first step is actually to drill the, uh, the hole larger and this is not what's called a blind hole. I can actually get to the bottom side of this so that, uh, that makes it a little bit more convenient. So I can just drill all the way through. Uh, so I'm going to do that as uh, step one here. I'll put this specially sized drill bit in my drill motor. And then making sure that I have this drill square, I'm going to drill all the way through. and remove the, the chips there, the metal shavings. And notice I'm taking some precautions so I don't get excessive metal shavings down in my engine. Of course, also being aware that uh, we would have to thoroughly clean everything here prior to reassembling uh, this engine. Uh, the next step in this process uh, is actually to countersink, using this special tool, uh, countersink this hole so this shoulder right here on the thread repair insert will end up uh, going down and uh, the, the surface will be, uh, or I should say the insert will be below the surface of this oil pan sealing uh, area. So it needs to be at least flush or preferably just a little bit below. If it were protruding, then we would have uh, an obvious sealing concern. Okay, I'm going to put my counterboring tool in my drill motor. And I'm going to counterbore. Now, the appropriate depth is once this shoulder hits the top portion of this, uh, this block. So it's going to start uh, cutting, and then once the cutting slows uh, to a stop, that means I'm done. OK, 
Okay, I've got that counterboard to the appropriate depth. I'm going to again clean all the excess metal filings off. Now the, the next step in this process is to thread that hole. Now this is a special uh, tap. It says uh, M indicating metric, 8 by 1.25, but, uh, but notice this is definitely not uh, the same size as my actual 8 by 1.25 bolt. This is specially sized for the outside dimensions of this time cert thread repair insert. So I just want to, uh, to caution you, don't accidentally grab this tap thinking it's an 8 by 1.25 um, just to clean up some threads. Notice how uh, differently uh, sized it is versus our actual 8 by 1.25 uh, tap. Okay, I'm going to get a tap handle. This particular one uh, has a ratcheting feature. And I'm going to install the square drive end of my tap in this ratcheting tap handle. And I'm going to actually select the center position there to, to lock it. Now we're going to be cutting some new threads in our aluminum, so I'm going to use this cutting fluid. And I'm going to make sure that uh, as I begin this tapping process, I need to make sure that this tap is very square uh, to this, uh, this engine block and the, and the hole that I'm threading. So I'm going to very slowly get this started, but then I'm going to back up and take a look and make sure that I have this square. What I like to do a lot of times is I will put a, a bolt or a stud or a tap in an adjacent hole and I'll use that as a guide to try to, to help me get this tap uh, started very squarely. If I start threading this hole uh, not square, it's going to be very challenging to uh, thread it all the way through. And uh, then of course our bolt won't go in at the appropriate angle either. So I'm going to take my time. I'm going to make sure I do this right. Okay, I'm, I'm confident there that I've got uh, my tap started squarely. So I can start cutting my new threads. I'm going to advance a quarter turn and then I'm going to back up half a turn to break the chips that are forming. Advance a quarter turn, back up a half, and I'm going to continue that pattern until I'm threaded all the way through. Now, again, since this is not a blind hole, my chips that I'm forming, the material that I'm cutting from the engine block can fall down below. If this were a blind hole, I would have to do this in multiple steps thread a portion of it, back it out, and then clean out the chips that would be accumulating in the bottom of the hole. I would do that with uh, some brake parts cleaner and or some uh, compressed air, being very careful that I didn't blow metal filings everywhere. So remember, advance a quarter, back up a half.
Okay, and it feels like I'm just about all the way through there. So I'm just going to run this through, make sure it's good. Okay, then let's remove this and see how it looks. Going to spray a little bit of brake parts cleaner down in there. Clean it up. Dry it with some compressed air. And let's take a very good close look at those threads that we just formed. Okay, it looks really good. So I'm ready to install my thread repair insert now. Uh, in order to do this, I'm going to use this special driver tool. I'm going to install this into my tap handle. And there's some special driver tool oil that needs to be installed on this just to just a drop right on the end. I'm going to position my my thread repair insert on the driver tool. On the outside of my thread repair insert, I'm going to install some red high strength thread locking compound. Just a drop there. And then I've I've previously cleaned out the, the newly threaded hole. Going to start installing this thread repair insert. So we can see the thread repair inserts going down into that hole. Okay, it stopped, but I'm not done. I actually need to run this driver tool all the way through uh, the thread repair insert. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to expand it outward and lock it in place. Okay, it's starting to get difficult to turn. Uh, the bottom two or three threads inside this uh, thread repair insert are not fully formed. So as I run this tool down through, it's going to expand the bottom portion and really lock it into place. So it's got hard to turn. I'm going to continue pressing through the bottom of that thread repair insert. Okay, it starts to get easy to turn again. All right, now I'm done. I can back this installation driver tool out. Okay, and there is our repaired uh, internal thread. Same dimensions as the original bolt and at least as strong. So again, this is a time cert solid thread repair insert that I use, but there are a lot of uh, other styles, uh, styles that are just a, a little coil. Um, and then there are several other brands, manufacturers that make uh, solid uh, ones as well, in addition to, uh, to these time cert brand ones uh, that we demonstrated.